Good morning, folks. The cosmos' odd sense of irony strikes again in today's articles. We've got a trifecta of new volcano news and more, but let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're checking out the last 24 hours on our star. Bright active region near the middle actually has no umbra beneath it, so it's mostly just for show. A couple more coming from the limb with a plasma filament north of the central active region in Earth-directed position, but thus far staying absolutely stable. We do have more filamentary action coming over the limb. Still have a few days before any of those over to the left would be relevant for Earth, however. The solar wind at Earth began calming down. While the shape does match a coronal hole three-day telemetry, the weak speed unable to crack 500 kilometers per second has left Earth able to handle the intensified plasma stream without issue. The next intensification would come from the coronal hole's center disk today and turning away. They are sparse and much more robust at higher latitudes. We should know by Sunday night whether this is going to cause any significant geomagnetic activity. The top quake of the last day was a six-pointer in a region that basically laughs at six-pointers. A magnitude 5 in California would have been more news than this one. Meanwhile, we've got three volcanoes making news starting in Mexico where Popo said hello and sent smoke up to go. While just to the southeast, Volcan de Fuego in Guatemala put on a gorgeous display illuminated by the sun being close to the horizon, painting it like clouds. And finally, folks, a sad day as a beloved tour guide at Hawaii's fire was overcome by noxious fumes due to a rainfall onto the material during a tour. Sean King dedicated his life to Hawaiian volcanoes, gave his life for one. This is probably his most famous photo. Let's start with something pleasant because it's going to get a little bumpy here in a moment. ARP-142 looks like a gorgeous cosmic penguin guarding an egg amidst the stars between Leo, Hydra, and Sextants. This zoom-in is a few years old from ESA's Hubble release. Today's NASA image shows a much more vibrant composite. In case you missed the dozen or so papers on frack quakes and those related to the wastewater injections over the last few years, the scientists have no plans on stopping the confirmations or the papers coming out. A little less than 13,000 years ago, our ancestors had a rough go of it for a while when up to 10% of the entire Earth's surface was scorched, they say, by pieces of a comet that broke up in the inner system and rained down across the world. So man-made quakes, fire from the sky, now it gets turbulent. The super cosmos simulations have gotten an upgrade. The machinery and money spent putting these together is incredible. With every new update, the universe looks more and more like the nervous system, electrically connected by charged particles. The filamentary structures have become more defined by the baryonic matter connecting them in the newest model. And that new model on the right here shows a less spread out and chaotic system, one more confined to the structures of the web and galactic clusters. Here is the problem. These things were all set in motion long before the death of dark matter began to unravel. Since mid-2016, the completion of so many dark matter searches, to no avail, has painted a very clear picture. Dark likely doesn't mean exotic and magic, but just invisible to us with our current technology. We're still finding more and more every year. Along the same brand of irony that had the Dark Energy Survey's leader from Carnegie Mellon state it was unlikely that a mysterious new particle would ever be found, and he did so on Dark Matter Day, no less, we have another bit of irony today as actual observations of the physical universe trump computer models, with dwarf galaxies joining the group of cosmic players that debunks the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model. The Centaurus A cluster of dwarf satellite galaxies has been studied well enough now to become the third galaxy to have polar-oriented, structured, non-gravitationally chaotic setups of dwarf satellites that cannot work under the current dark matter paradigm. The authors say there is either something enormous that they've missed, unlikely, or once again, as we've heard from every search and satellite and CERN's collider and other colliders, the underlying dark matter model is wrong. Not good news for those supercomputer simulations. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org. Planetary geometry for the month is up as your episode 14 of Deeper Look this year. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.